Welcome to Rachel's Total Body BOSU Ball Workout. The BOSU Ball is a fantastic tool to help you get in shape. It adds an element of stability for a more intense and challenging workout. Add dumbbells to it and you have all the tools you need to become lean and mean. Let's begin with a shoulder press. Place the ball on the ground with the bottom side up. Place one foot off the center of the ball, then place your other foot on. Stand shoulder width apart and slightly bend your knees. Hold the weights with your elbows bent at shoulder level. Distribute your weight evenly. Inhale, tighten your abs, and alternate pressing the weights up. Pause briefly, exhale, and slowly lower the weight down. Three, two, one, begin. It's normal to shake during this exercise as you shift your weight from side to side. To make the exercise easier, stand on the round side of the ball. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your obliques and shoulders. Now let's do Renegade. Get into plank position and rest your toes on the flat side of the ball. Keep your feet hip width apart. Hold a weight in each hand with your palms facing each other and your hands directly under your shoulders. Inhale, tense up your abs and alternate pulling the weights back. Bring your elbows to your side. Three, two, one, begin. Because most women don't have a lot of upper body strength, it may be difficult to bring the weight down slowly, so don't sweat it if you can't pause on top. Exhale on the way down. Do 15 reps on each side. You'll be working your abs, core, back, and obliques. Now let's move on to one of my favorite exercises, the pelvic thrust. Place the ball flat side up. Lie on the ball firmly with your head and shoulders. Hold the weights in front of you with your palms facing down at hip level. Keep your knees bent at 90 degrees and your feet shoulder width apart. Your torso should be parallel to the ground. Inhale, firm up your abs, squeeze your glutes, and slowly thrust your pelvis up as high as you can. Pause briefly, exhale, and then slowly return to the starting position. Three. Two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. You're working your glutes.
Next, let's do a side bend with squat. Place the ball with the flat side up. Put one foot on the center of the ball with your toes pointing out at an angle. Straighten out your other leg, lock your knee, and place it about two to three feet away from the ball with your toes pointing forward. Hold one weight on your thigh and the other with your arm raised up and each palm facing forward. Tighten your abs, inhale, and slowly lunge forward and bend to the other side. Bring your arm down and maintain the other weight above your head. Briefly pause at the bottom, exhale, and push back to the starting position with the forward lunging foot. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your arms, obliques, and shoulders. Next, let's do a frontal lateral combo raise. Stand hip width apart on the round side of the ball with your knees slightly bent. Extend your arms at your sides with the dumbbells in your hands and your palms facing each other. Inhale, firm up your abs and raise one arm directly in front of you while the other is extended out to the side. Keep your elbows locked. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. reps on each side. You're working your shoulders. Now let's do face down and wide arm extension. Lie on the round side of the ball on your stomach. Straighten out your legs and keep your feet shoulder width apart. Hold the weights in each hand with your elbows bent in front of you and your palms facing down. Tighten your abs, inhale, and extend your arms straight out to each side. When your arms are fully extended, your palms should be facing back. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. 
three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, and triceps. Now let's do push-ups with feet on BOSU. Get into a plank position with your toes resting on the center of the flat side of the ball. Hold the weights in your hands with your elbows locked and your palms facing down. You can either rest your palms on the weights with your fingers extended, or grip the weights if there's enough clearance. Inhale, firm up your abs, slowly do a push-up, and bring your upper body down as low as you can. Pause briefly, exhale, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your chest. Now get ready for lean back and curl. Sit off the center of the round side of the ball with the weights in your hands, your arms extended at your sides, and your palms facing forward. Inhale, firm up your abs, lean back slightly, curl the weights up, and twist to one side. Exhale, return to the center, lower the weights, and then alternate. Three, two, one, begin. Maintain a straight back throughout the exercise. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, biceps, and obliques. Next, let's do plank with dumbbell kickback. Get into a plank position and rest one hand on the center of the round side of the ball. Hold a weight in your other hand with your arm extended in front of you and your palms facing your body. Inhale, tense up your abs, pull your elbow up as high as you can, then extend your arm out and back. Exhale, pause briefly, and then return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Keep your back straight throughout. Do 15 reps on each side. You're working your abs, core, back, and triceps.
ready for crunch to stand. Lie on the round side of the ball. Keep your head and neck off the ball. Hold the weights in front of you with your elbows bent and your palms facing each other. Bend your knees and place your feet hip width apart. Inhale, tense up your abs, and crunch up into a standing position. Then immediately punch from side to side. Exhale, slowly sit back down, and return to the starting position. Three, two, one, begin. Do 15 reps. You're working your abs, core, chest, glutes, obliques, quads, and shoulders. Congratulations on finishing Rachel's Circuit 1 with Bosu and Dumbbells. Get ready to tackle her second circuit and come yet another step closer to your health goals. You can do it and we are with you every step of the way. It's important to stay focused and be diligent in your daily workouts and eat healthy. We are honored to be working with you to make all of this an integral part of your happy, healthy lifestyle. You're doing great and we're very proud of you and your determination to achieve your fitness goals. So let's do it. Select a set of dumbbells that is appropriate for each exercise. Remember to make it just heavy enough to challenge your body and mind. You'll get to your fitness goals much sooner that way. Make sure you have water with you and that you don't feel hungry. If you are feeling famished, then eat a little bit of a protein bar or drink a little bit of a protein shake along the way. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. Let's start by doing shoulder press while standing on the ball. You're gonna press one arm up overhead at a time. Make sure that you're standing with your legs apart and bent at the knees. Breathe out when pressing up and keep your posture neutral throughout the exercise. Very good. You're starting off this circuit with a bang. This exercise will give you strong shoulders and triceps. Your arms and shoulders will look great. Avoid pressing too fast that you lose your balance. Focus on one rep at a time and keep your entire body tensed and tight. Well done. You could always make it a little more challenging by using heavier dumbbells, but you must always have total control when lifting the weights. Great job. Get a little water if you need to, and then we're on to the next exercise. Let's keep the energy strong and dive right into the next one. You're gonna do Renegade. This exercise will challenge your core like crazy. Place your feet apart on the ball for better balance. Keep your shoulders above the dumbbells for stability. Lean onto one arm and breathe out. Row the other arm up as high as you safely can. This one is tough and demands a lot of strength and balance. Keep your posture neutral and keep your arms, back, shoulders, abs, and legs tensed and engaged. Your arms and shoulders will be shredded while your core muscles work overtime to do this exercise. 
but don't go too fast that you lose balance, and make sure to have your weight directly above the dumbbells. This is an advanced exercise. You'll get to your fitness goals in no time by pushing your body this hard. Well done. Do a little stretching to loosen up a little bit before the next round. You're doing really well. Now you get to rest your upper body while working on your lower body, primarily your glutes. This exercise will give you buns of steel. You're going to do pelvic thrust. Place the dumbbells on your hips and lie face up on the flat side of the ball. Keep your posture neutral and breathe out as you thrust your pelvis up as high as you can. Focus on squeezing your glutes together as you go up. That's it. Nice and steady. In addition to your glutes getting a great workout, your quads are engaged as well. Your legs will look strong and toned while your glutes will be tight and round. You're doing really well. Keep it up and you'll be finished in no time. Make your glutes burn by having the right weight and by going full range on the up and down thrust. Focus on a steady rhythm and only lightly touch the ground. Well done, you did great. This next exercise will work every part of your body. It'll require balance, flexibility, and a steadfast determination to do a combo move perfectly. Let's do side bend with squat. Keep your arms straight always and maintain a perfect posture throughout the entire routine. Do a side lunge as low as you comfortably can and breathe out as you come up. You're doing it. Your arms and shoulders are being challenged by holding the dumbbells while you're working on your abductors and adductors. Your glutes and quads are burning it up too. Your legs are screaming for you to stop, but don't. You can't. You want strong and great looking shoulders, arms, legs, and abs, and this is one way to get them. You've made a decision to change yourself. You've made a commitment and now you're honoring it because you're worth every drop of sweat, every breath, and every rep. Well done. Take a quick break and get ready for some more. Here we go. Let's attack this fifth exercise with a sense of vigor and purpose. Make sure that you're hydrated. Let's do frontal lateral combo raise. Get a good stance on the dome side of the ball. Keep your arms straight throughout and breathe out when you lift upward. One arm goes up to the front and the other lifts to the side. Then switch. That's it. You're doing great. Keep your balance. Your shoulders will be so beautiful because you're working them from both the side and front angle. No matter how much your shoulders burn, no matter how much they hurt, don't stop and don't slow down. Don't give up, push through it. You can do this. Give it your all because you deserve it. This is your gift to yourself, your sweat and tears, your journey of a better, healthier you. Well done. Now get some water, stretch, and psych yourself up for the next set. All right, you're almost done. Just a few more. You got this. Congrats on doing so well and coming so far. Let's focus on hitting your back and triceps now. Let's do face down and wide arm extension. Keep your body hyperextended on the dome side of the ball and keep your posture neutral. 
Keep your elbows in one place while your arms are apart. Breathe out and extend your arms up and out. That's it. Keep on doing that. Concentrate on holding everything in one place as you extend your triceps. The back of your arms will be so tight and strong and your back will look strong too because it's working overtime to hold you up for so long. Great job. Try not to lower your body or your elbows so that you maximize your muscle recruitment. Great job. You're doing very well and now you deserve a little break. Rest and stretch. Get some water if you need to. Now let's do push-ups with feet on BOSU and really get your chest, shoulders, and arms into shape. This exercise is tough because it requires power and stability. This is similar to the renegade exercise you did earlier, so you got this. Keep your feet wide and centered on the ball for better balance. Keep your shoulders over your arms to avoid sliding or rolling of the dumbbells under your hands. Nicely done. You're doing a really good job. Bring your chest down first and not your chin. Breathe out on the way up. Excellent. Your upper body will be strong, solid, and confident because your chest will be up and out, your shoulders will be tightened back, and your arms will be so defined. You got this. Just a little more to the finish line. Great job. You are fantastic. Nice work on pushing through your tiredness and fatigue. Now let's do some curls while you're sitting on the ball. Lean back a little to engage your abs, but keep your posture neutral throughout the exercise. As you curl upward, breathe out and twist your body so that you engage your obliques as well. This exercise is easier than the previous exercises because it requires less body parts to perform the moves. But if you select the right weight and you concentrate really hard on doing each rep perfectly, then it will be challenging as well. That's it. Struggle with each and every rep. Curl up and breathe out. This exercise will give you great biceps and a very sexy ab region. Avoid rounding your back. Keep it up. Feel yourself getting yet another exercise closer to your fitness goals. You've done very well. You've given it your all and your new body and mind will be that much better for it. Now rest up, stretch out, and sip a little water. You have two more exercises to do to wrap it all up. You got this. All right, you're two exercises away from completing yet another circuit. You are awesome. You got this. Let's do plank with dumbbell kickback. Place one hand on the center of the dome and make sure that your shoulders are directly above your arm. Spread your legs about shoulder width apart for better stability. Keep your posture neutral throughout and breathe out when you're rowing up and extending back. You're doing a fantastic job. This exercise will get you great strong arms, a strong core, and shredded triceps. Your entire body should be contracted and still while you row and extend your arms. You're burning up so many calories doing this exercise. You not only look good while doing it, but you will also look good afterwards. Your abs will be tight and your arms will be magnificent. Just a little bit more, you can do it. Burn those triceps. Tense up your abs and back and push through. You've come too far, sacrificed too much, and want it too badly to stop now. Now it's time to finish what you started. Let's see and feel your determination to get this done. Let's do it. This last one will tie everything together. You're gonna do legs, arms, abs, and upper body. You're gonna do crunch to stand. Start in a crunch position on the dome side of the ball. Have your legs about shoulder width apart to help you squat better. Crunch and stand up in a steady and controlled manner. Squat down to the BOSU in the same controlled manner. Keep it tight and keep it focused. Breathe out on the way up. Once at the top, twist and alternate your punches. That's it, you're doing an amazing job. Keep it up, just a few more. This last piece works everything.
You did a great job. Your beautiful body will thank you. You've more than earned your rest. Please stretch out and get some healthy food in you real soon. Congratulations and thank you for working out with Jimra.